Good morning, guys. It is Saturday. Although I say good morning, actually also my t-shirt says hello Sunday morning, so it's not quite right. And it's not even morning either. It is 10 to 1. Um, I have had a super, super slow morning. I feel like I've gotten, in, gotten into a habit, like at the weekend, like on Saturday and Sunday, just literally chilling out in bed and watching like my stuff on my iPad. So that has been good. But yeah, it does make me feel quite lazy, although I have done a wash, so not too bad I did do my usual now cleaning sort of on a Friday lunchtime so that is also good yeah it is my birthday on Tuesday so I'm trying to still figure out how I'm going to do this vlog because normally I finish it on like a Sunday try and edit it on a Monday and get it up on Monday but I didn't know whether to make this vlog just all about like my birthday weekend or whether I've kind of split it into two haven't quite figured that out yet but I will obviously as I'm going painted my nails yesterday and I did um a nice like orange color and I don't normally like having this colour on my hands. I usually use it on my toes. But I really fancied it. And yeah, I love it. Let me just... I'll show you exactly which one it is. It's the Rimmel 60 Seconds In Style Coral. I love 60 Second ones. I bang on about them all the time. So I won't bang on anymore. Yeah, I have had a good week. And it's been really kind of nice because the sunshine's been out. So any moment I can, I've been sitting out in the sun. Like on lunch breaks and stuff. And it has been strong at sun. I've definitely like picked up a bit of colour, I think, by just sitting out there just a little bit. As I said, it's Saturday. I'm going to have just quite a chilled day, I think. But this evening, I'm doing a quiz with my friends and family again. Um, I've organised it and I'm going to do it for everyone. So Dan and me will pull together the questions and stuff. Um, because, yeah, I love quizzes. I love doing them. And I've wanted to kind of get my favourite people together for my birthday. So looking forward to that. This weekend will just be filled with like some walks and stuff, chilling out in the garden. I finally finished reading American Marriage, which I'm really annoyed that I didn't like it very much, but you can't like all books, can you? So whatever, I just felt a bit of a chore reading it. I have ordered a few dresses recently from Miss Selfridge, one of which I absolutely adore. So I will show you that. And then the other two, I'm not 100% sure on yet. I think I like them, but they're not 100%. So I might even show you on the vlog in a minute so I can get your opinion because that would be good. And yeah, I had a little parcel this morning from Brogan, um, from Brogan Tate, and it was just really, really lovely. So I'm gonna show you that as well. And what else? I've cleaned my hair today, and I don't know if I wanna have it straight or curly today, so I've just left it at the moment um, after I've dried it. I also fake tan my legs, which I haven't done in a really long time, so I'll show you the tan that I've used, and hopefully I have come up a nice color tomorrow, but we shall see. Yeah, I feel like there's not much to say right now. I'll just take you along and show you the bits that I mentioned. It is a few hours later now, and we have mainly just been doing the quiz for later. Um, I'm wearing a floral dress, which you can kind of wear at the shoulders like this or off the shoulder, which I got off eBay like a year or so ago. Um, and I'll show you actually in the mirror. So yeah, it looks like this. It's like ruched at the top. And as I said, you can kind of have the shoulders like that or pull them down bit more um i'll try and find this on ebay and um <laughs> excuse my socks and slippers but yeah it's got like two little slits here i think it was actually a maxi but i got it altered by dan's nan to be like a midi so yeah it's quite cute and just like quite comfy for around the house so i thought i'd wear this for now um my legs are looking quite brown you know i said that i did gradual tanner this morning um it's definitely worked so um i'll show you it is this one it's the cnr gradual tanner um i did try and look this up but the packaging looks quite different now this was actually gifted quite a while ago i don't even know if it's like off now <laughs> but yeah my legs definitely look quite brown They're probably a bit prickly but yeah looking all right and then i'll show you what brogan got me um i've got some memo note like sticky pad things i love anything like that for stationery a cute little sign and then a pixie glow little tonic water which is great um a little ring from what's this joma jewelry and then a little birthday card so that is very lovely i'm gonna pop that up and as i said i got a couple of dresses recently from misguided not misguided miss selfridge i'll show you the one that i absolutely love first and then i'll show you these two because i'm still trying to decide if i like them okay so this is the first dress that i absolutely love so it's this sort of midi floral dress and it's got a bit of a slit here just one slit and yeah i love it so much and it's got these nice puff sleeves which again you could wear them how you want because you can pull them down so you could actually wear it like bandeau style or have the sleeves up but i think i prefer it currently with the sleeves up 
and yeah I really really love it I think I've seen quite a few people wear this on my Instagram so I think it might become like quite a popular number um it's actually quite a thick material so I don't think it'll be great for like a really hot day but potentially like sort of obviously this springtime if you were going out and it wasn't going to be super hot all day but yeah I love it I think it was actually 42 pound but I managed to get a discount because they had a discount on their dresses and then also got a discount because it was my first ever Miss Selfridge order so yeah I would highly recommend trying out a voucher code but yeah I love it it might not even necessarily be the most flattering for me but you just put it on and you just love it and it makes you feel like really nice it makes you feel girly and pretty and yeah very happy okay so this is one of the first ones I'm not sure about partly you can see my bra in this um, but I am wearing a strapless one I love the pattern of this it's like a really nice green and white pattern but there's just something about it I don't feel like it fits very well here as you can see and then it's just too long for my frame I really think I need to wash my calves off <laughs> um if it was like a little bit shorter because I am obviously quite short if it was like maybe there I just think I'd prefer it but then I think I don't know if I still would love this and I always am in the mindset that if you don't if you're not that sure about something you should just return it but part of me is thinking I think it worked out about £20 which is obviously not too bad and I could get it altered to be what I want but mm, I actually think it's coming up a little bit more blue on camera it's actually definitely more green right round yeah it's definitely more blue on camera than it is in real life but yeah I'm just not sure about this I think it's almost like too pretty for me there's just a bit of a boundary and I think you know you just don't feel like yourself so maybe not Okay, so this is the other one that I'm not sure about, but the more I put it on, the more I think I like it. I just prefer the colour, it's like actually like a dark green and white, and I like the little, the sort of like tiny, tiny puff sleeves on it. It's also super, super light, it's, it is jersey material, but it feels like really like soft and light on, even if it was like quite a hot day. It's quite an unusual shape, I think obviously it's meant to be like smock. So it could obviously be smaller. I did consider like whether I should get a smaller size, but then I feel like then it's not really what the style is meant to be. I did put it on with my Burks earlier and I think it looks quite nice with those. So yeah, I may keep this one because every time I put it on, I do quite like it. And I think that this one will be quite good for like autumn as well. If you're wearing like maybe like tights potentially and like little boots. So I think I might keep this one, this definitely feels more me, and then return the other one, I think. Okay, and then this one I had originally ruled out, and I don't know why, but actually I've tried it on again, and I do quite like it. don't think it goes with my Burks necessarily, but um, oh, I do quite like this. I'm not sure, this is so hard, but I like the arms again, and I really like the pattern on this. It's like a blue and purple, day, like ditzy floor print, so it is quite cute. I don't know. I don't know if the sleeves are too puffy, maybe? Are they too puffy? Okay, you'll be pleased to know, guys, I have washed off the tan. Um, I don't think I want that to be left on for another six or something hours. Well, probably longer than that. So I've washed it off because I don't want it to keep developing. Although I am quite pleased with how it has worked. Probably should have done the rest of my body, really, but just a bit of a test. Um, I've come downstairs now because I think I'm going to watch a bit of Grey's Anatomy before I start doing dinner. Um, I just wanted to show you these flowers as well these a couple of weeks ago now i know they're not the prettiest of plants but um i like them because they just last so long they're like carnations aren't they but i just think the color of these are so pretty and unusual i haven't really normally seen the, this sort of like coral color before so yeah really like those and i think i've already pretty much decided with those dresses that i will keep only the middle one i think the first one ooh out of the two three four um the second one the first green one i think is just a bit too twee for me and just doesn't fit me properly so i don't think i should keep it um and then i do like the second green one so i think that's what i'm going to keep the third one i although i love the pattern and i think on someone else i would love it on me i just think i don't think it works if it's too puffy on the sleeves and i think they're just a bit too puffy for me and yeah it's not like the nicest of material either although i do like the pattern as i said so I'm not going to keep them if I'm not 100% so I'm just going to go with the first yellow one which I've already actually kept and then the second green one. As I said I'm going to watch Grey's Anatomy now, I smell of fake tan but actually that was what I was going to say, it's not quite as like normal biscuity smell as other fake tans, it's like a lot more coconutty so that's quite nice actually, it does, take, does smell different. Yeah, 
feel like I'm chatting away. I am gonna stop now. Hi guys, it is, oh what day is it? It is Sunday morning and last night had a lovely dinner. I did like a cod dinner, which I'll leave linked below. Um, I did like film a clip of it, but I didn't really film me talking about it. Anyway, it's Sunday morning and we've come out for a long walk. Actually, no, I was also forgot to say, had a really good quiz last night with my friends and family. So that was really nice. Had a couple of glasses of Prosecco, had a few technical difficulties, but it was good. And yeah, we've come out for a long walk today um, to a new route. And I'm wearing my new dress because I fancied wearing something pretty today. And yeah, why not? Very lovely walk. So I'll show you some bits. So as you can probably tell from all the footage, we had a lovely time on our walk. Um, we got back and just chilled out really, to be honest. A couple of my friends came and dropped a parcel off for me for my birthday, so I'm not gonna open that until Tuesday. It feels really nice to see them from the doorstep. And then my mum and dad also came to drop off a few bits and including uh, my cake. And I'm just gonna insert some footage of me filming it. Um, it's a carrot cake, I haven't yet tried it, but it looks beautiful. It is, yeah, proper main cake that my mum got done. So I'm gonna try it later and hopefully it tastes delicious, but it looks so, so lovely. And I've just poured myself another Prosecco after last night. And we have had dinner, just did like a corn sausage, like dinner with basically like a roast, but with corn sausages instead of a roast meat. And that was really, really tasty. Um, yeah, so we'll probably just eat a bit of cake tonight maybe light a candle. It was actually a little bit sad seeing my parents just because that's actually the first time I've seen them since this all really kicked off in person. And obviously it was well at a distance. Dad actually stayed in the car. My mum got out and yeah, it's just a bit sad because it's like, can't hug them, can't you know kiss them and can't get that close. And it just feels a bit bittersweet, but everyone's going through the same position. So um, yeah, just got to kind of keep going with it and obviously it is a little bit sad that I can't really see my like loved ones on my birthday but as I said Dan always makes it lovely anyway so I'm not complaining but yeah I don't really think there's much else to report I don't think um yeah I'm just gonna have a nice evening watch something on tv I'm sure maybe a film or some tv shows and I'll catch you in the morning I think I've got a call tomorrow morning with my girlfriends half live over the other side of the world I think I've talked about that before and then I've got a yoga class at 10am it's with a different yoga teacher this week so I'm doing like I think up to seven classes next week so yeah it's like a package thing so I will look forward to that I think it's a day of sunbathing tomorrow hey guys it is Monday and excuse my mess I wasn't actually going to vlog today but I thought oh, I will anyway this is the reality of my day I've got my dress hanging off so I can sunbathe in the garden I have a spot patch here and no makeup on and my hair scraped back but it's been a good day um I had my call with my friends which was nice then I had yoga then chilling out and just been out in the garden reading my sister brought round a pavlova which is one of my favorite pudding slash dessert so I'm going to show you that now it's so so nice and then I'm going to have a little cheeky bit we had some frappuccinos earlier as well so yeah I feel like I've been eating quite naughty but if you can't have treats during a lockdown birthday then when can you but here it is doesn't it look amazing she's not like pink as well oh I love it so I'm going to have a bit of this now as an afternoon treat 
So I'm super excited to eat that. And then we have pizza tonight because it's my favorite. Well, like one of my favorites. And then, and then yeah, tomorrow is my birthday. So I am gonna vlog a little bit because I just kind of want it for the memories really. Um, we're heading towards the beach. I've got some lovely things to open because my friends and family have dropped things around. So that's been lovely. So I will open that tomorrow. And then, yeah, I'll take you along. I've decided not to get a vlog up this weekend that it currently is, so there will have been a break when I upload this video. I just would quite like a bait break from editing and um, I'd quite like to lump it all into one vlog, I've decided, so that's what I'm gonna do. And yeah, so it'll be probably quite a long vlog and um, a nice one. Hey guys, it is my birthday today. So it's Tuesday. We have just arrived at the beach and it is deserted. So it's pretty lush got a little picnic what's it called mat <laughs> blanket and we're gonna have a picnic and just spend a couple of hours here probably chilling the sun is out it's a lovely day and yeah i've had a lovely morning so far dan had out some balloons and stuff and then had a couple of visits to my door and lots of cars and presents and one of my friends had gotten all my friends to do messages for me so that got me teary and crying <laughs> but that was nice so yeah gonna have a lovely day and enjoy the beach So this is what I came down to this morning and it's obviously a bit later now so there's lots of balloons. My friend actually bought that little bunch around there and then up here, big happy birthday which I've always wanted one of these so that's really cool and then lots of nice goodies down here which I can show you a bit later slash tomorrow. Back from the beach, had a lovely lovely time, I think we're gonna make a frappuccino now and have a bit of pavlova and then probably go out in the garden. It is Friday, I'm just gonna shut the window because people are shouting. So it's been a few days since my birthday. As you can see, I've still got the happy birthday balloons out because I don't wanna get rid of them just yet. And yeah, I felt very, very, very sport from afar. And I thought I'd just show you a few bits that I got before I sign off for this weekend because I'm gonna start my next weekend vlog today slash tomorrow. First up, Dan got me, actually no it wasn't Dan, it was Dan's mum, got me the Friends Monopoly. Um, I love a board game, um, if you don't already know, and Monopoly is like one of my favourites. I bang on about it to Dan all the time because we don't have our own copy, so he got his mum to get me that. And what else did I get? I got these absolutely beautiful flowers from my colleagues at work. So they are from Bloom and Wild. And oh my goodness, look at those. This is the third or fourth day now, so they're really, really blooming. The peonies look beautiful. And yeah, having these the last few days has just been a real treat. So I feel very grateful for those. I had some cracking cards. This is one of my faves. It's a really cute, funny card. It says, cool, I want a balloon hat too. And then, uh, um, and then give them a balloon. <laughs> That's cute. Um, and then I've had like homemade cards. Um, here which is just lovely and then my friends know me well because I love yoga right now so it's cool I also got these in the post which are from a company called love brownie slash bakery and I think they're based up in Yorkshire and oh my goodness this is them they're double chocolate brownies they are absolutely incredible I feel like Dan and I are both quite fussy about the brownies. Like I don't like them when they're too cakey. I like them quite fudgy. They are amazing. So if you want to do a gift for someone, I'm definitely going to use them probably in the future. Would highly recommend. I also got this lovely necklace from my friend Charlotte. Um, it's a shell, and if you don't know, I have a shell tattoo. So I am obsessed with this. It's so cute. And um, she also got me some gold earrings, which I'm not wearing right now, but they are lovely. And then, yeah, just in general, I've just got some really nice things. I've got lots and lots of books. So I'm going to talk about the books I've got in my next vlog, just to space it out a bit, so that I can talk about them in a bit more depth, I think. Do, like, a mini haul within a different vlog. And, yeah, I just felt very spoiled. I've got some new Gymshark leggings from Dan. 
and some other nice things and yeah I just felt very very incredibly spoiled so I'm very very thankful um if I didn't already say it, I won't lie like I did feel a little bit sad on the day and sort of around the weekend just a few like sad pangs of just thinking that I couldn't really see people properly but the rules are starting to relax a little bit now so it should hopefully mean we can see family a little bit more in the garden and stuff so that is good I feel like I have rambled and rambled there um but yeah thank you so so much for watching this I hope you enjoyed seeing what I got up to on my birthday and yeah look forward to the next one probably be a lot of gardening maybe yoga and book chat so look forward to that thank you so so much for watching and I'll see you again soon bye